Welcome back everyone to the Complete Pine Leaf where today we are doing some scouting and on top of that we have been asked to deliver some messages maybe find some orders okay here is our first scouted path which doesn't provide us with any useful information but I'm sure we'll get more useful information as we go along now let's head along this way and find out what's in this direction. Anything useful? Probably. An Avok. Yes, this place has Avok. That's what we determined in our scouting report. Report is complete, right? Probably not. Let's see if there's anything up this way. Other than the Alpha Fox that we fought, we also have a few beasts here and there. Nothing worth heading back really to report, I presume. So let's head on our way and see if we can find... Oh. Oh, hello! I was about to say, all oh, quiet it! No. What, 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 an, an entire army just came along suddenly! Well, I found some orders. I guess that's good news. Uh, let, let's stop this. He just likes to keep on healing. What in the world happened there? It went from quiet to suddenly very, very busy. All in an instant. Well then, I suppose we need to intercept more orders. I will assume that the Avok aren't carrying orders. It's just a guess. A simple little guess. I don't know, I just have a feeling. I could just imagine Sauron trying to place a capsule with orders inside the Avok and that they're the actual messengers that go through and we, we just don't realize it because all these Avok are secretly holding messages that came with the, oh, Black Numenorian captains. Oh, I forgot that I was looking for Black Numenorian captains. Is this another one? Oh no, that's the Easterling Defector. Well, we'll forget about them and Look for others. Ah, that looks like a nice place to scout. Assuming that I can climb up there. Avonk and Bees. Is that what I said about the last location? Ooh, what have we got here? That looks a bit more interesting. And it appears that we've got... Some captured soldiers that we need to recover. All right, there you go. You're welcome. Uh, maybe you should have run that way. <sighs> oh well, I hope he doesn't get recaptured anytime soon. Now let's see. What do we want here? Let's remove that because it looks like we've got a couple of quests here. Cursed cages. Destroy cages and supplies and. Defeat enemies. Well, defeat enemies here. That should be an easy thing to achieve. Because there seem to be plenty of them. I mean, if I don't defeat them, it would be a very short series, right? There you go. Oh, I... Defeat goblins, defeat orcs, and defeat trolls. Orc, Earthbick. Okay, so trolls and Gearsbig count for that. Uh, that's good. No. Uh, 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 uh. Actually, I think there might be a... a bounty target in this place also. I guess I'll find out eventually. Defilers. Intercepted or orders 9. So at least I'll soon be done with all those orders. 
one less thing to have to worry about being in my quest log. Bring it. Bring the orders to Amroth. All right, I'll just take that off the quest log then. I'll just see this big glowy ring over Amroth and know that it's it. Oh, oh, those are the cages. I was wondering, what is that? The cage, yes. Your turn. A, ho a hopeful orc patrol leader. What's he hoping for? To be a leader of a patrol? Or is he hopeful for something? Like hoping for the end of the war? Hopeful that he'll win the lottery? I don't know. What would you win if you won the lottery in Mordor? Let's see. Hmm. Interesting question. Oh, 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 oh. As long as you don't have to... If the winner doesn't feel like they're in a Shirley Jackson sort of story or anything like that... Uh, let's see, here we go. Oh, here we go now. Your turn. Oh, the cage! Yes, thanks for reminding me. It's this big glowy thing. That's that's why I came here for in the first place, isn't it? Alright, there you go. Orcs. Good. Oh. Mordor Captain. So I guess you at least count as a... Count as an orc. Plus, he's standing next to one of the food supplies that looks like I need to... Destroy cages and destroy supplies. Twelve cages and eight supplies. Whew. All right. There you go. Uh, yes, I know I missed something in all this. The trolls. I haven't been attacking any of the trolls. Stone heaver. I have a feeling... He's going to want to be known as Hobbit Heaver if he... Yep! Hobbit Heaver! That's what he really is! And let's of course take care of the supplies while we are at it. Aha! Yes! My bounty target! Fuluk! We also have this hopeful orc that... Needs to be taught a lesson before I handle Fuluk. Just to make sure that I don't get uninvited guests. Because I have my little tete tete o with Fuluk here. And. There you go. Now, he's going to have some sort of induction, right? Maybe not. He seems to be content on just pounding me with a big stick. Well, my stick is smaller, but it's pointier. There you go. Now it takes care of Fuluk. Now I do have to kill a few more orcs in the region in order to finish up that bounty, but that's the specific one, the most important of the trolls to kill. Now there's quite a train. We have a troll leading an orc who's leading a goblin. Hmm. Well, I still need to kill a few trolls, so let's, let's see what I can do here. And though this means fighting three at a time, and one of them being a signature, but yeah. Well, they went down pretty quickly. Hold on, looks like we found some... Fallen Soldier Whites. Is I supposed to kill some of these? I'm pretty sure I am. One of five. Yep, I'm supposed to kill some of these. And also some Elf Whites. 
Now who goes around creating... Oh, speaking of elf whites, here's one right here. Oh, I scouted a path while going through here. I think I know what's here. Yes, of course. There are whites in this area. Yes, how unexpected. I mean, it's not like anyone gave me a quest to kill them or anything like that. I'm sure I'll make a detailed report of them when I get back. Oh, I also have a bounty on these Easterling Beastmasters. While I wait for the whites to respawn, I might as well deal with this. So yes, this is a bounty of bounties. That's what it is. There you go. That's one down. Three more to go. Oh, sorry about taking in the crow. Now, where were we? Ah. I need to find more whites. Ooh, a quest ring. What's that all about? Other than having scouted another location and having found a few more of these whites all over the place. Uh, your turn. Stop doing that. I like having power. Now, where were we? Ah, there is... Oh, one of the scouts I'm supposed to talk to. You say you bring a message from King Anarion. Deliver it. Deliver the message, for I am Anarion's Inar to command. You tell Martor that Anarion believes that Sauron nears the end of his resolve and that there are deep calls in the area. Yeah, yes, he did say something about deep calls. I'm sure he mentioned deep calls. I don't know why he thinks that there are deep calls in the area. I have absolutely no idea, but that's what that, that's what was in the message. Now, now, what were we saying? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, anyway, a re renewed assault on the part of the Great Alliance may bring this war to an end. Hmm. It is my heart's wish that the king guesses are right, but this is not the first day I have heard his hope in the given voice. I think it more likely that Sauron prepares some new weapon to unleash upon us. Still, I will not abandon my duty, and I will fight on. For Anarion! And for Isildur! For Gondor! Well, he's more level-headed than the king, I see. Well, I guess that's good to hear. Now... We need to do. Oh yes, I have one more location to scout and two more scouts to find, which is closer. I decided to head for the other two scouts first, and here's one of them. What message brings you hither? Good tidings or ill? Hmm. So neither good nor ill, then, for I hear nothing new in the king's words. He has my love and my respect. For my loyalty is to both of Lindil's sons and the kingdom that they made on these shores. But I have seen no sign the end of the siege is any nearer now than it was these past few years. King Anarion is a good man, but I see in him the desire of all soldiers to welcome the onset of peace at the slimmest of portents. It fell to him to defend the borders of Gondor while his brother traveled north to gather the Great Alliance. Anarion has been fighting this war longer than many of us, and he must feel the weariness of it as keenly as any soldier of Gondor. I hope he's right that it will soon be ended, but I will lay no wager upon it. Alright, so he is... reasonable. Ah, the final soldier is... I am too late to deliver on Narian's hopeful message, for Ostendor has been slain. Even were the war to end tomorrow, it would not matter to the dead. Ah, okay, that, that's Isildur bringing in his own thoughts on the matter. Now, let's finish our... 
little bit of a scouting venture and we have two more prisoners that we need to release and they are in a different camp actually I happen to be right next to another camp so perhaps I should stop by here in Barthos before I a task for you soldier uh, I'm sure everyone does have a task for me and even a few pages. Since first we rode to war, I have dreaded this day. We men who stood with him did not yet understand. But Gil-Galad's captains knew, and they sorrowed. Right now, here we are. We've got this dwarf here. Who, what does he have for me? We will need to distract the eyes of the enemy. If we are to press the attack upon the Tower of Baradur, we will need to have a distraction. Otherwise, the attack will fail before it has barely begun. I have spent many years in the mines, and the darkness of the Shadowfells is not unlike the caverns for which I am familiar. What is the best way to distract the darkness, you ask? Why, with fire, of course. I ask that you light fires through Rog in Midweer, for the sorceress creatures of the Shadowfells will not be able to abide their light, and the flames will draw the attention of anyone hereabout. By Girin's beard, I'm certain this plan will work. It just makes sense, my friend, does it not? So I need to start fires all over the place, and of course, defeat more foes. But I don't think that... Sh I should go around constantly doing that, right? Hmm. Well, now, about that checkpoint. I'm sure I'll kill plenty of foes. As for the fires, I think I'll be in the area of the fires eventually, so I'm not going to worry about them just yet. Does going after this Beastmaster count as... Three of these foes that we need to defeat in the area. If you get three at once, a three fur. Plus the fact that it's needed for another quest. So it's a a quad then. Yes. A quad fecta. There we go. There you can see that's our third beast master. Good. Now apparently we are a little bit too far away to the west to count for that other quest. Oh well, it did at least take care of one of the other Beastmasters I needed. I believe that the last area I need to scout is right up ahead. Yep, and that concludes the report, so I will speak to Thranduil as soon as I get back to camp. But now, I have this place to explore because I believe the last two prisoners are over this way, as well as quite a number of Black Numenorians. We're not going to be worrying about fires just yet. So we'll just rescue the prisoners, take care of the Black Numenorians. Oh. Lots of hopefuls all over the place. I have seen these uh, Mordorum hopefuls. I have seen Easterling Hopefuls. I have seen Raid Leader Hopefuls. Uh, many, many hopeful enemy around here. Uh, if they're hopeful for a quick death, I could try to give them one. And of course, what do you need to do? Shrines. Destroy statues. And. Search coffers and defeat Amafuin's forces, which means defeat Mordrim in Amafuin. Oh, Mordorim. I guess all the Mordorim are mostly dead. Because you don't, I don't remember running into any Mordorim when we were doing the Mordor area, but. I suppose no one really wanted to live in Mordor after all, whatever happened there, so it's just orcs, goblins, and black Numenorians 
or maybe they're all something else. Maybe all those sorcerers we would occasionally run into. I was thinking that those would have been Black Numenorians, but maybe some of them were Mordorim, and they just didn't have a name for them at the time we did in the original storyline. There you go. Well, so much for the bounty on the Black Numenorians. Now, I guess we need to head on into here. Oh! Look at this. But it looks like that they're much the same as Angrim in that they like to cast... Actually, maybe a lot of those sorcerers that you run into in Mirkwood are relocated uh, mortaring. That's a possibility. Or they may be the ancestors of the Angrim. Yeah. That at least makes sense. After 3,000 years, I guess many of them have moved on elsewhere. And what is this squarish, glowy thing? Well, more like obelisk shaped. And the shrines! The shrines that we must destroy. And these funny things are the coffers we must destroy. Uh, or search them, perhaps. So, destroy shrines. I got Kho. Am I supposed to be killing her? I guess I'm about to find out. I don't know whether I'm supposed to be killing her now or if I'll be killing her later. Or re-killing her later, probably at this point, because I seem to be giving her some trouble now. There you go. And well, she does count as a mortaring cultist. Oh, defeated Agancho. All right. Well, that answers that question. Ah, I finally found another one of the prisoners. I also found another obelisk. More of these black Numenorians. Guess I better take care of these because it looks like that's just a warrior. I'll go with it. Oh, besides, standing right next to another coffer that I need to search. I was trying to figure out what that symbol was, and of course, it's an eye! The Eye of Mordor. Of course. You would think that I would have figured that out by now. There we go. Now let's go on the coffer. And release the prisoner. Now that I have cleared out the way. I am surprised. I am surprised orcs have not eaten me yet. Well, be happy that you've been surprised, that you live to be surprised. Now, what else have we got? Oh. Oh, hello. Thank you for coming after me before I threw the javelin to start that combat. Thank you very much. Hmm. Looks like I'm also supposed to be destroying these statues of the Dark Lord. I hope I didn't miss any and all that. Because there's six of them, apparently. And that's the first one I recall encountering. Though I could have just not have known that I was supposed to be looking for those things. Ooh, I found the last soldier. I also found another obelisk. And another coffer to search. I still have a few more of those. I hope I eventually find something useful. Well, even if I don't, I need to shut this sorcerer up. 
so that we don't have to worry about any fell spirits intruding in our little discussion. And now, let's free the soldier. Ah, hmm. <sighs> just speak with Caliborn then. Looks like I just had to search a few, few things, destroy a few things, and there's also this Matras dog I need to kill. Ah! The final statue. There we go. Now, oh, there is another coffer here. You have the unfortunate circumstance of being next to a coffer that I need to search. Now, anything in here? Nope. But I think that now I need to head inside. And I think I had been right next to the entrance in question. Oh, hello. Didn't mean to interrupt because I had gone deep that way and I thought, oh. There's nothing here. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to report. Yes, there was something to report. Oh. They're getting annoying, those... There you go. I don't need that thing with all that dread coming up along. I should just throw a hope token up if I've got one. Not sure I really have a good one at the moment, but that could have come in handy. Ah, now. There is a door right here, and I think that the second person I need is behind that door. Definitely not a pretty place. And who's that? Ah! Matrathog. Yep. The one I'm looking for. Oh, is that a Rogmul? Probably. Or something like a Rogmul. But first, ooh, we have to take care of that clown. Right? Hello! Fancy meeting you here. That is a weird looking rock. Well, that's for sure. I guess rock more weird looking just by definition, though. All right, that takes care of that. And looks like the last few coffers I need to search are right in here. So I'm hoping that soon as this will be it and that I can get back to camp. As soon as I deal with a few more inhospitable locals. Ah, back in one piece. And this looks like a good place to put the supplies that I found. You deposit the supplies you found into the chest in Echad in Ethel. It is your hope that these provisions will be of some use to the war effort of the Great Alliance, or at least deprive them of the enemy if they aren't. Now, I suppose I need to deliver some other items. This is Thranduil. Are you able and ready for battle? The whites are no more? Then the bodies of our fallen are no longer move in anguish and may return to the rest. Should the Dark Lord send these spirits against us once again, we will be ready. I thank you for all that you've done this day. Okay. And? Are you able and ready for battle? And you did well in your task, but it was only a start. We are known to the enemy. Now we must take that reminder and turn it into a weapon of fear. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now I believe I have others to speak with up here. We have... Oh my goodness gracious. See, ah, we have... Amroth! The battlefield calls to us on this day. 
So it's true. You have brought me just what I thought, and I thank you for doing so. Let us now organize our attacks to coincide with their movements. Perhaps we can now uh, sow confusion within their ranks and improve the position of our own soldiers. Heed my orders. Yes, I have just received information from the scouts that, mu that must go to the front line. A dwarf named Nithi has secured the ruin of Barthos, located between the quartz fields and Parthalade in the Shadowfells of Emidwyr. Bring him this missive and aid the efforts of the Great Alliance. Okay, so he's sending me there now, which is the place where I was before. Oh, I guess I'd better pick up the missive, right? And we have here... I will guide you to victory. All of the captured soldiers were rescued and brought safely back to Adam Bell. You have done well indeed, bringing joy to my heart and dealing a blow to the efforts of the Dark Lord. He will learn nothing of our plans, not on this day. The battlefield calls to us on this day. The banners of the elves have oft struck fear into the hearts of our enemies, if they indeed have any. Take these and raise them throughout the corpse fields and parth Danath. Doing so will shake the courage out of our foes and inspire the spirits of our own friends. In other words, another heraldry one. And is there anything else here? I don't know. But if there is, we'll find that out in the next episode of The Complete Finally.